just made me feel a warm and fuzzy inside, so thank you, mysterious human. I'm just slipping to the gym for a bit. Do you want to join me? No. Thanks for that. Good morning everybody, me again. Welcome back to Exxon Mini Rex and another weekly vlog. Thank you so much for letting me have my week off last week. Um, I really feel like it proper recharged my brain. It's exactly what I needed and you honestly didn't miss much. It was a pretty uneventful week. The only thing I did really that was fun was I went painting yesterday, pottery painting with uh, Matt and Lucy and I painted Toby a little uh, dog bowl but it's going in the kiln so it won't be ready for like another 10 days so yeah that was a pretty fun Sunday then we went for lunch which is nice got hair in my mouth well so new week new start um, and I've actually got a busy one this week which is quite nice uh, I've got a facial I'm reviewing a facial tomorrow in a new salon in Birmingham which is nice <laughs> tough job but someone's got to do it uh, and then on uh, Wednesday I'm having my hair done having it revamped it's grown so much like it actually feels like it's too long for me right now who am I can't believe I'm saying that but yeah I'm gonna go like short again and revamp the color with Daniel Ross because uh, I haven't had my hair done with them all this year and I was really impressed with them the first time so yeah can't wait to experiment with that a little bit uh seeing the girls at uh, the weekend and stuff. Yeah, it's gonna be a good week and I'm gonna try and film a what I eat in a week video for you guys because I know you like those um, and I'm starting to try and be healthy again. So Currently just trying to find my Olympus pen. I'm gonna film everything on there um, And get that up for you next week. So hopefully that will be nice. That is about it That's my um, my recap of what you're about to watch. So sit down with a cup of tea and enjoy <laughs> Oh, and also, you know, I told you in my last um, vlog that I broke my Morphe Richards uh, blender thing. Well, my friend Matt's very kindly lent me his Nutribullet um, for a couple of months uh, just until I can save up and afford to replace mine. So that's very exciting. I get to use a Nutribullet for the very first time. I think you just push them down, don't you? This could be a disaster. <laughs> okay, I love my Morphe Richards and it served me well for about three years but this bad boy is so much better <laughs> like genuinely so much better oh man now we need a Nutribullet <laughs> oh I just had a lovely little Skype interview with uh, a lady called Olivia who runs a blog so once that goes live I'll leave a link for you guys to go and listen um but yeah it was fun I've never done a podcast before so I'm going to be in my very first podcast it's exciting uh, but now it's like half past two <laughs> and I haven't had lunch so I'm gonna crack on with some like something healthy I think I've got some like ready cooked salmon things so I'm gonna have that with some salad and rice and uh, just crack on with me and do editing doing well today actually doing pretty well so we're gonna keep powering through although I stupidly agreed to do a uh, spin class with Lucy later followed by pure pump which is like barbells and weights and stuff that was stupid wasn't it definitely not looking forward to that I'm proud today. When it came to the gym time, we really did not want to go and I had an absolute nightmare and I lost something quite important on the walk with Toby. So got back here and I was like, oh crap, I've lost it, it's fallen out of my pocket. So I had to go back and try and find it with the light on my phone, couldn't find it. So I'm gonna have to go back and try again tomorrow. So I was obviously really pissed off and stressed about that. I just thought, I don't want to go, I can't remember to go to the gym. And Lucy came around and we just had a cup of tea and sat down and calmed down. And we're like, nope, we're all going to go. So we missed our classes, unfortunately. Well, one of them we were on a waiting list for and we didn't get in. And the other one, by the time I'd had a look around for what I'd lost and got back, it was like five minutes till it started, so we wouldn't have got there anyway. But we went to the gym nonetheless and we did 20 minutes on the cross train, which is better than nothing. So the moral of the story is, when you feel like crap, power yourself through and just do just uh, just something and you'll feel better for it which I do I'm still really annoyed though <laughs> about my lost item but um never mind these things happen it is replaceable so that's fine I'm gonna crack on with my dinner now something from the freezer because I've got nothing in the house and then I'm gonna sit down finish the India vlog which is going tomorrow and then chill or at least try to <laughs> hi guys it's Tuesday oh my goodness I look horrendous it's a very good job of having my hair done tomorrow and a good job that i'm also getting a facial today my skin actually to be fair it's not that bad i've been using some new products that i've been meaning to chat to you about let me just show you what they are so i've really been experimenting with my skin and um using products that have come through to me and sort of really trying to get like a really good um like mix of products a balance of products so 
And the first one that I've been absolutely loving is the new Kiehl's Vitamin C Concentrate. Now this is, it's got hydrochloric acid in, yeah, and 12.5% Vitamin C. It's a line reducing concentrate, and you're sat there thinking, oh, that's clearly not working. It does, honestly, I'm a lot more wrinkly than this normally. Um, it just feels good on the skin, and I notice a no I, there is a noticeable difference after one use overnight. Love that. I also tried this for the very first time last week. It's La Roche Posay, La, La Roche Posay Hylou B5 Serum. There you go. I don't actually know a lot about this product. It kind of popped through. Again, it's a hyaluronic acid serum. I used this the other week when I had a really bad breakout on my cheek. And I'm not kidding you, they disappeared overnight with this stuff, but it's very drying. So, uh, the other one that I use is my classic Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. Very good for moisturising. And I've been using this eye serum from Nip and Fab. It's the No Needle um, Fix Eye. And believe it or not, it is actually working really well. I've just got dark circles today because I got woken up at half past five this morning by a doggy with a poorly tummy. So I don't know what he's eating on his walks, but he's chirpy as anything, so he's fine. Um, but yeah. So I just thought I'd give you a bit of a rundown of the skincare that I'm living right now. However, I am going for a facial today um, at this new salon which uh sounds interesting i'm not sure which facial i'm getting so i'm not going to give you any details now because they've got they've sent through a thing with quite a few on there and some of them sounded quite futuristic so i'll see which one i get and yeah tomorrow hair i am going back to my cooler blonde because look it looks like i'm going gray right now because my cool natural cool blonde is coming through and because i've got such a warm coppery blonde on the top it looks like i'm going gray and i'm not so <laughs> i've decided i'm going back to my cool blonde and then maybe even like ice blonde tips but we'll see not tips that sounds like something out of the 90s remember them oh my god balayage balayage look what i just got sent <laughs> it's a pair of socks with toby's face on them that is so cute they're from a company called pup socks and they got in touch and they were like hey would like to send you a pair of socks with your dog face on i was like uh yes please that's amazing how cute are they oh my god you're famous you're on a pair of socks you've got your own merchandise <laughs> Oh, I cannot wait to get my hair cut tomorrow. This is my attempt at making it look semi-okay today. I just, I'm rubbish. Oh my goodness. It just, it, I think it just needs some layers in because it's getting very, very thick. So yeah, that's my plan. Anyway, I'm off to Birmingham now. It doesn't look like it's raining at the moment. Uh, I haven't put any makeup, well, that's a lie. I've got that Arborian BB cream that I'm absolutely living right now. I've done my eyebrows a little bit and put a little bit of Hoola Light on. But I thought there's no point. Oh, and I've got, um... What's it called? The Tinted Benefit Lip Balm thing. Um, I just thought there's no point putting makeup on because they're just going to strip it all off anyway. So, feeling a little bit barefaced and a bit grim. But hey, this is my outfit of the day. <laughs> and uh, I'm looking forward to getting a little bit pampered, I suppose. Even if it's just for half an hour, an hour. I've only ever really had one facial before. I really enjoyed it though. We'll see how this one goes. Um, so yeah, catch up with you in a bit. I'm gonna walk to the station. That's gonna be some exercise for me. And that's all I have to report. I'm sorry, it's a very uneventful day, but it's about to get exciting. So I've been a little frivolous today. I got given an espresso machine the other week with an Arochino and I've been absolutely loving my coffee. So I wanted a travel mug so I could save a bit of money. And I wasn't tempted to pop into Costa and Starbucks so, as much, so I just got on from the Nespresso store. And it's really pretty. But now I'm here and ready for my facial, out of breath. Oh my god, that was amazing. I feel like a new woman. My skin looks incredible. <gasps> amazing. Oh my goodness, so I've just taken Toby for a walk and uh, I found my lost item. Somebody had found it and put it on a, um, a gate post so in the hope that I would stumble across it and find it again. So to the very kind human who found it and put it on the gate post, thank you so much. You've restored my faith in humanity. I genuinely thought it was gone forever. And yeah, it's just made me feel a warm and fuzzy inside. So thank you, mysterious human. I'm just about to empty my bin and put the bins out because it's uh, bin day tomorrow. So exciting. 
uh, and then I'm going to write a blog post and then I'm going to settle down for Celebrity Bake Off, which I'm very much looking forward to. They've got a good lineup this year. So yeah, bring it on. Sounds like a good Tuesday to me. Oh, bought some socks from Primark. £2.50 for five pairs. How good's that? And a memory foam bath mat. I can't be honest, you saw them in there. Uh, £6. Six pounds and it feels so so nice so I bought two one for a wash and one for a wear and I'm very pleased with my purchases today <laughs> Ugh, Lucy's just texted me to say I'm just nipping to the gym for a bit do you want to join me no but I will fine <sighs> so I'm gonna go and get changed and nip over to the gym <laughs> I don't want to go don't make me I already walked today not very far but I still walked you ever do that thing where you're in front of the TV and you're falling asleep and you're thinking, I should probably go to bed. But then you look at your phone and it's like half past nine and you're like, it's way too early to go to bed. I cannot go to bed. I'm going to carry on watching TV. And then the next time you look at your phone, it's five minutes past midnight. I do that all the time. I should have gone to bed at half nine. <laughs> hello, everybody. Hello. It's Wednesday. Wow. Um... I hope you're all well. I'm having so many bad nightmares at the moment. It's ridiculous. I can barely, I like wake up at all not all times of the night and the nightmares, oh, oh, just knocking stuff over. And the nightmares are just awful right now. So I feel very, very tired, but my skin looks and feels amazing today. I didn't put anything on it before I went to bed and it just, oh, feels great, love it. So today I've got loads of little admin -y bits to do within the next hour <laughs> and then I need to get myself ready and then I'm heading over to mum and dad's and um, dropping the dog off with them for the day and then I'm going to Daniel Ross and I'm gonna get this sorted out which I'm very much excited for. Uh, but first I'm gonna have some melon oh, and a facial from the kettle apparently and uh, I'm gonna sit down and answer my emails and sort out, oh I need to book a dentist appointment still, oh. God, so behind. So I've just found out that I'm going to see Aladdin the musical next week and I am so excited, like crazy excited. I wanted to see it for ages, ever since it came on the West End. So I'm currently listening to the soundtrack in my car and singing along and absolutely bloody loving it. I'll actually be a little bit gutted when I get to the hair salon. <laughs> goodness I absolutely love my hair you can't see because the sun's in the way there you go oh, it's so different it's oh it's just awesome it's super cool uh, literally cool as well like we've gone so cool with the colors and the front bits I, I kind of went a little bit um, rogue for me I know people are like what what are you on about this is not adventurous at all but for me this is super adventurous and I was like make it great why not let's go for it <laughs> You love it believe it or not the, the stripes at the front of my hair are natural i have naturally i have two natural blonde bits at the front like rogue from x-men and i always used to absolutely hate them when i was younger but now i love them so i was like yeah bring them out bring them out again why not i miss them um so yeah and we've gone like super short again love the length oh it's amazing it feels so bouncy as well oh i'm really pleased with it i uh it's different for sure i feel like i need a bit of a tan though now every time i go cool i feel like i need a tan and they did my nails for me as well while we were um waiting for the color to develop i bloody love that salon if you're in the midlands daniel ross hair and beauty amazing they're linked on my um they're tagged on my instagram story so go and check them out i just bloody love them there he does such a great job i want me to put some like layers in the bottom as well oh i absolutely love it it's amazing um and they use matrix um hair dyes and stuff like that so i think we've got semi-permanent and then we put a toner on the front to make it like sort of like gray blue oh my god it looks like i love it i love it um yeah so they use the matrix color and i always find that the matrix colors are just really smooth looking colors they're like just subtle i suppose in a way um I really like them and I like the way that they make my hair look and the way that they make my hair feel. 
I'm just really impressed with the stuff and also he's given me a bag full of products which is awesome and they sent me some of their products the other day um, and I've been loving them the shampoos and conditioners are great uh, especially the brass off ones if you've got blonde hair and you want to like take away any ashiness uh, the brass off conditioners and shampoos that they do are really good the texturizing spray that they do is amazing I'm just I love their products I've never really heard of them until they approached me actually to do this collaboration with Daniel Ross um, but I you know I always experiment with my hair and hair products because I can and I've really been impressed with their stuff I have to say um, yeah it's, it's kind of like it stands out for me because I, I find that a lot of them I don't know like Paul Mitchell and Weller um, are good products but they're a much of a muchness for me whereas I've just found that the Matrix products really stand out and they definitely do what they say on the tin so yeah big fan I'm definitely been converted but here is my new hair and I love it it's not gonna stay like this sort of um, grey blue it will sort of fade a little bit because the front's sort of only toned but the rest of it's gone sort of cool blonde back to my usual my normal color um yeah oh my god they look so great there ah, i love it i actually love it i used like i said i used to hate them when i was a kid um but now i really like them bring them back embrace the natural i say wow natural with a bit of toner on another week another pub quiz absolutely smashed <laughs> I can't believe we keep winning, it's really weird. Um, I am not used to my hair. My goodness, when I just looked in the viewfinder, I was like, whoa, who's this grey old lady? <laughs> um, yeah, so we won the pub quiz again, and now I'm back home, and I kind of want some chocolate, but I'm not gonna have chocolate. I think I'm going to have a hot chocolate, which is better, better for you. This hair looks really weird in the viewfinder. I don't like it, but I love it in real life. It's just like picking up the white bits, but nothing else. Look, if I hide those, look. You can see, like, it's a lovely ashy colour, but for some reason they are very, very strong in this viewfinder. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, I'm gonna go and fake tan, because <laughs> I feel like I need a bit of colour with this new hair. And then I'm gonna go and watch a bit of telly, drink hot chocolate and go to bed. So I'm gonna leave you guys here and I'll see you in the morning. Hello, hello. Uh, I'm off to the dentist this morning to go and get my retainer fixed. Um, even though I pretty much had to beg them to fix it because she was, she was just like, well, I'm not sure if the dentist can do that. I'm like, well, he's done it before. So, well, I'm not sure how long it will take. Took about five minutes. Well, I'm going to have to ask him. All right, fine. Phone me back. Yeah, he can do it. Said it will take about five minutes. Thanks for that. Just told you. So yeah, I'm going to head over there and then I've got a whole day of editing ahead of me, which is not going to be fun because it's nice and sunny outside and I'm going to be stuck in front of my laptop. The joys of working from home. Right, I'm off out again <laughs> for another client meeting. There is no rest of the wicked today, but I have my Nespresso coffee on the go. I can't remember what I had to say, Vivalto Lungo. Hmm, very nice. Um, and yeah, hopefully I'm gonna have time to walk Toby at some point today. I'm going to a film festival this evening with Matt because he wanted to go and he was like, I've got tickets, do you wanna go? I'm like, all right, fine. Don't actually know what I've agreed to go to, but um, I think it's like a small, film festival thing? I don't know. Uh, we're going there tonight, so hopefully I'll have time to walk this little man when I come back and uh, have something to eat before we go. Oh, busy day, busy, busy day, busy week. Next week's not much better. Well, it's a very exciting week actually, lots of lovely stuff, but full on. So yeah, anyway, I'm also gonna pop into Pretty Parts uh, on my way to my meeting and grab one of their cakes because they are delicious and I've done really well today and really well this week and I need some sugar, so bugger it <laughs> okay so i have a little confession to make i absolutely loved my hair yesterday from daniel ross but i got home and i looked in the mirror and in my light um it was just a bit too ambitious for me you know how i i love natural hair i much prefer natural and the white streaks at the front they were just they were just too much <laughs> and i got home and i was like i was like really buzzing when i came out because i absolutely loved it and it was like super different and yeah i just felt really cool and then i got home and i was like oh my god i cannot pull this off this is not me at all and i just felt really really upset and i, I couldn't bring myself to go back to Dan because he looked really pleased with it at the end so I've just been to Francesco <laughs> and uh, we've toned it down um, and now I absolutely love it I really really love it it's um it's really difficult she said she tried to explain it to me obviously I'm not a hairdresser so I don't know the full ins and outs but we went really 
really warm with it before with the nice copper tones and apparently it's harder to go cooler from warm hair than it is to go um warm from cool hair so we think we were a bit ambitious yesterday trying to do it all in one go so yeah she sort of brought the balayage up a little bit to blend in we've toned down my natural front highlighty bits and we've just chopped a few extra layers in which i bloody love it's gone even shorter but um yeah so if my hair looks a little bit different uh that's the secret <laughs> i've uh, been and gone and got it done again today um i was just so upset because I loved it when I walked out of the salon and then I got home and I was like I don't think I can pull this off it's too cool for me I'm not cool enough for this kind of like white streaky bits so yeah that's why if it looks different it is a little bit but um yeah I'm still gonna go back to Dan next time it's just I just I was just too embarrassed to go back and get him to change it which is probably silly of me I don't know um but does anybody else do that? Have you ever sort of like looked, gone home after a haircut and gone, oh my god, I really don't like it anymore, but I don't go back. So yeah, I just went into Francesco because I know them better and um, they know me and they know my hair. So yeah, and now I'm really, really pleased with it. So I feel a lot better. Oh, I feel like a weight's come off my chest. And so I just feel so bad because Daniel Ross did such an amazing job last time and yeah I just feel bad that this time it wasn't quite right but I think we've nailed it now it's all good and next time I'll be going back to Dan and we'll try again <laughs> good morning everybody look at my bed head today wow it is something else <laughs> how are you happy Friday um, I'm very tired today I'm so tired um, when I got back last night I went to a um, a film festival thing with my friend Matt. He booked us tickets because he really wanted to go and he thought I'd like it because it's all kind of like, um, it's called the Banff Film Festival. It's all kind of like um, motor, not motor, 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 mountain bike kind of things, skis. It's all like extreme sort of um, little videos that people make. So essentially they're like small documentaries or vlogs or whatever you want to call them but they're just absolutely incredible and he didn't because I thought he thought I might like the way that they're shot because obviously they do them all themselves and they were really cool there was there was this one about these two guys that went to the Amazon and went to this like really remote tribe and got this guy to help them build like um a dugout canoe and they spent like two months there and the conditions were really hard and they made this dugout canoe and then they sailed down the Amazon and then they sold it and went home and it was just really, really cool. And I sort of sat down and I was like, this is gonna be a bit naff. And by the end of it, I was absolutely hooked. There's really, really inspirational films in there. And yeah, just made, and there's one lady who like, who lives on her bike it's called pedal and it's there only like sort of like five minutes at a time and then there's a few like sort of longer ones as well. Um, but she lives on her bike and it just sort of, it prompted a little interesting debate in my mind about whether it's actually easier to live on your own. Because you were looking at her thinking, God, the conditions are really hard. I don't know if I could do that being on the road all the time, um, not having a, a house, you know, just being a nomad. But I actually think it's easier probably living on your own because you don't have to sort of like negate, is that the word? Is that the right word? Oh, my brain is just too, is not working for that kind of uh, vocabulary. But you don't have to sort of um, go through anybody else's emotions. You've just got yourself to look after and that's it. So actually I think it's a bit easier. Um, anyway, there might be a blog post coming on that. But yeah, it was a really nice night. And then we just came back and watched some um, stand-up comedy, Jimmy Carr on Netflix, which was quite good. And drank a bottle of wine. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I got this morning. I was like, oh, I'm so tired. I'm not hungover. I'm just tired. I think because I haven't stopped this week. And then I actually finally relaxed for the first time last night. And actually, I got like my hair sorted and stuff, which still looks interesting. It's very sort of like blue grey at the moment. But um, once I wash it, it's gonna go like a nice, nice colour. It's just, I just didn't feel like I was cool enough for those white streaks. So yeah, I'm pleased with what we've done. And uh, I think we're gonna get closer to the look that I really want next time. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea and some porridge for breakfast and crack on writing my India post, which I managed to do yesterday when I was in the chair. So it's nearly done. Um, and I'm gonna do a post for Bumble as well about being a queen bee and all the events that we're putting on. And then this evening I am going out. So hopefully I remember my camera, hopefully I remember to film. Um, 
but yeah it was nice last night just to switch off and actually relax so yeah all good you want to go out for a walk should we go to the duck pond should we go to the castle <laughs> where do you want to go <laughs> you just want to go don't you am i teasing you come on then come on then let's go have a walk So I've had my brows done and I've had a cosmopolitan so I'm starting to feel a little bit better <laughs> even though I got drenched on the way to the station which is the worst thing ever uh, and then we're going to go and watch Red Sparrow tonight which I've got no idea what it's about so I'm quite excited these eyebrows look amazing if I do so so myself Good morning everybody, happy Saturday. Um, I am off to Jo's because she's having a charity fundraiser this morning for her um, marathon that she's running. Uh, and we're gonna do cake and I've put together a massive bag full of beauty goodies um, to give away as a raffle prize. And yeah, I'm just really excited to see her and Lucy's gonna be there as well, uh, but I'm really late. I was gonna walk there and then the weather this morning has just been one minute, lovely, nice and sunshine, the next minute, chucking it down with rain. So I'm not gonna risk it, I'm gonna drive. Um, and yeah, just go and eat cake, drink coffee, and have a chat for, for, for the morning, which is a nice way to start Saturday, I feel. Uh, and then my mum's coming over a little bit later, so we'll probably take Toby out for a walk. Uh, and then tonight, I'm filming, my old kickboxing instructor is holding a fight night, so I'm doing some filming for him. Um, he asked me to come along and do that and I said yes and I didn't realise how much of a big job it is but uh, it'll help him out so we're still going and doing that. So yeah, quite a busy Saturday actually. Uh, not the relaxing Saturday that I actually need after this week but never mind, we can relax a little bit tomorrow um, and chill out and have a lie in. But anyway, I'm going to crack on, um, get the cakes together, get in the car and go and get myself a coffee. Yes, Look at all these there. bloody cakes. Still there. 13. <laughs> Well, that was lovely and very successful. Um, we made lots of money for charity, which is really, really good. And I think everyone had a nice time and the cakes went down well. The raffle prizes went down well. So yeah, it was a, a good morning, a good coffee morning, a successful one. So um, I've got about half an hour until mum comes. So I'm just sitting down and grabbing a quick sandwich. Uh, and then yeah, she's gonna come. We're gonna probably take Toby out for a walk, which would be nice. Oh, finally have just a little bit of a sit down. Although I need to turn the heating down. I put the heating up because it's been so, so cold. And then now I'm sweating because it's, I think it's about eight degrees again now. Can't bloody keep up with this weather. I'm honestly doing so well with my eating this week. <laughs> like I think this you're gonna really gonna like the what I eat in a week video that I'm doing. Because it's just super realistic. Like genuinely, it's just been, nights where i've had to eat from the freezer because i haven't done anything in the fridge and then other nights just like super easy throwing stuff together so um yeah if you want to follow it it should be pretty simple for you guys to follow but yeah this is my saturday night dinner <laughs> loads of vegetables sweet potato and like a spicy lentil burger thing i really just want a kfc if i'm honest but we're doing well Hey guys, happy Sunday. So, um, I've been feeling really rubbish today actually. I'm also freezing cold, I can't get warm, so I think I'm just a little bit exhausted. It's been one of those weeks and next week doesn't seem to be any lighter um, on the work and stress and busyness front. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I've, it's evening now, I've just taken Toby out to the castle and stuff and just been potting around. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just gonna see what's in the freezer for dinner and then cook that and maybe get an early night because I'm just so tired. Like slept in this morning as well and I still just feel so tired. And like, like I said, I can't get warm. So I hope I'm not coming down with something because I've got some exciting things planned next week um, with work and stuff. So yeah, anyway, thank you very much for coming with me this weekend, watching with me. I know it's been a bit of an all over the place one, um, <laughs> but you know, it is one of those weeks we're back to back to just normal life after India now so yeah thank you so much for watching all the India vlogs and like the proper one and stuff um the blog post will be going up next week if you're interested in reading that if not I'll uh I'll see you next Tuesday oh can't say that <laughs> I'll see you next week bye it's <laughs> lots of legs and bums Maybe. and boobs can't say sex on the internet the food must be here Red's in the key <laughs>